Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 15, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode has been a long time coming, we had a few weeks break, and it's finally here, and it was a very good episode, I really liked it overall, it was very, very solid, and... Obviously the title was King Shark vs Gorilla Grodd, or vice versa, and so that was the main sort of cooling line for the episode, why people should come and, you know, see it. And, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of King Shark or Gorilla Grodd, I think they're good, but I don't ever have, like, a sheer need to see them, but I have to say, I think King Shark was very good in this episode, I think Grodd was a bit, you know, he wasn't in much of the episode, really, so... I don't know about Grodd, I thought he was good, but I thought King Shark was, you know, very good, I actually really liked him, and so, let's go ahead and talk about everything in this episode, so, we have King Shark, at the start of the episode we get to see that they need a test subject, essentially, for their metahuman cure that is now ready, so they go to Argus, and Barry's like, hmm, who should we do, who would actually want to get rid of them as human powers none of these villains we put away but king shark because king shark as we know has had sort of glimmers of i guess not being a criminal not being like a super villain but he is powered by essentially his primal rage inside him being a shark and so he admits in this episode it's part him and then but also it's part King Shark when he's afraid as well that sort of powers his anger and so King Shark runs away at the start of the episode after we visit the Argus facility so Nora, Barry, Cisco, Caitlin they're all there and he grabs Cisco and he's about to eat Cisco and Barry uses the metahuman cure that was amazing I really really did love that Barry actually did that and we got to see that the metahuman cure works and that's amazing he's human again that being king shark and so we are actually most of the episode along with him we're with his girlfriend on the other half or his wife and she's tonya and i believe she got recast she was quite good in this episode i thought she was quite effective and we'll talk a bit more about that soon but the big thing in this episode apart from that is job is back we had this really, really nice storyline between Joe and Iris, and so they explained where Joe's been. Apparently, he's been in Tibet with Wally this whole time with the daughter, and so he's just having time off, and now he's finally back. And I have to say, it's so great to see him around. You really kind of just forget how great a character he is, how great Jesse L. Martin is, until you actually have had such a big absence. I believe he's been off since episode 4, so that is 11 episodes so that's a long time and so it's just great to have him back and it really was a nice couple of parts in this episode with iris and it sort of taught iris to overcome her fears of cicada now because she couldn't go back to her office and so on but now she can at the end of the episode and she missed all the big stuff because she was with joe but the cgi in this episode was very kind of shabby at the start but it got better and better as it went on and they definitely saved their budget for that final fight scene between king shark and gorilla grod which i really really liked i thought it was really well done it actually was believable unlike some of the start bits with king shark and i think grod cgi was especially good this time and it was good it wasn't sort of like just two massive cgi creatures going at each other it kind of felt real even though obviously you can get better cgi if you look at films but this is on a tv budget and i was very impressed by the final fight by the final fight scene sorry especially and so at one point king shark's like hanging down he's upside down because you know sharks can't actually apparently they get paralyzed when they're upside down and they can't do anything so barry and nora have to help him to come back to stop grod and it's at that point that they shoot their lightning and he's electrocuted and then king shark finally wins the battle and we stop gorilla grod at the end of the episode but anyway going back so king shark he actually volunteers to go back into his shark self to save the flash to save nora 
and you know right some of the wrongs that he did in the past and we get a really nice scene at the end of the episode with Tanya and King Shark as he talks to her through his I guess headset I don't remember what they called it I believe they actually called it the crown but it was very similar to the shape of water and it was very similar to a sort of beauty and the beast type storyline and I love the way it ended and it was really charming it was really really nice to see that at the end of the episode but if we go back, we have Cisco and Caitlin in this episode, and this episode is mainly to do with the metahuman cure and, you know, giving permission. They have to ask the people, which I find a bit weird. I find when they actually flipped out on Barry to be a bit strange, because Cisco was about to get eaten by a freaking shark. I would be happy if my friend saved me. So I'm a bit confused. I understand why they say, oh, we have to ask. But not everyone's going to be fine with that. Like, they say at the end of the episode they're going to try and ask Cicada. Ah, I don't know how that's going to work. But we'll talk about that bit in a minute. Because that's a big part of the episode towards the end. Going into next episode. And so, yeah. I'm a bit conflicted on Cisco and Caitlin's motivations in this episode. But Cisco at one point punches Barry. And we're like, oh, shit. But you can kind of see. And that is when Grodd takes over. And... He takes over Caitlyn as well, and you see Grodd for the very first time. So that was the reason why King Shark escaped, and why King Shark was, you know, trying to eat Cisco and so on, because Grodd was able to get out, and he waited all this time, which was very kind of peculiar. But he targeted King Shark, but he wasn't able to fully take him over due to the fact that his mind is not fully human; it is part part shark, as they emphasised in this episode. So that was interesting, and like I said, Grodd looked really good this episode, his CGI was good. It's always just the movement, it's not like the texture or anything normally. So, yeah, let's move on. So we get Grodd, he's trying to take over the city, and Nora and Barry have this idea, like I mentioned, in order to stop them, and so they try and stop them, and they use the headsets that they have, they combine two of the different things or maybe actually my bad that was earlier in the episode to get round to King Shark but the headsets they use is the ones they used in a previous season when they try to stop Grodd but it doesn't fully work because Grodd is getting more powerful as he goes on and so they stop him for a moment with Barry doing the iconic punch and Nora is able to stop him as well and as they go to get him they are flung out of the room out of the car park or somewhere and yeah and that's where king shark comes in and we get that great fight scene so anyway let's move on so right by the end of the episode we get to find out that the metahuman cure obviously works and we know with what they say in the final scenes when cisco and caitlin are together and they all make up with barry Barry says maybe we start with Cicada and I interpreted that as they weren't going to ask they were going to actually go and run and just stab it in him that would make sense but apparently they're going to ask which is a bit weird but that's what they're going to be doing next episode they're going to try and actually stop Cicada so are we going to actually stop Cicada I have this sneaking feeling that we are I have this feeling that someone perhaps might take over as the main villain because we still have quite a lot of episodes we've got we got next week is 16 then we have 17 18 19 20 21 22 this season so we have eight more episodes that's ample time we had that obviously it was a bit earlier with savatar but i think there's still time and i don't think cicada can last till the end of the season if i'm totally honest so we've got eight episodes we know godspeed is coming in episode 17 I believe or I could be mistaken it's 18 I don't know one of those two episodes in a few weeks time I know that for certain so he's coming so is Godspeed gonna take over is reverse flash I think Godspeed potentially could be a season 6 villain I think this is just gonna be a nice little teaser I don't know how big a role he's going to be in that episode but I have this feeling that Cicada is going to be taken out and I think reverse flash might take over for the rent for the rest of the season for the duration that is left because again we keep on seeing him and next episode if you've seen the trailer we see him once again and something seems like it's happening in the future which is utterly intriguing because we know in the godspeed episode we're going to be in 2049 for most of the time because barry is going to find out about nora 
and reverse flash working together which is going to be so exciting i can't wait for that so next episode they're going to actually ask cicada to use it which is a bit strange like i said but i don't know if that's going to work i don't think it's going to work but i think they might find a way to stop cicada in next episode so Thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and also subscribe, turn on notifications, also follow me on Twitter at the DCTV show so you can stay up to date with me, also keep on checking the community tab, I like to post different things about maybe videos I'm posting or if you want to implement some ideas for videos and so on. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later, goodbye.